Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Days Gone. Uh, in the last one, I believe I finished when I went to go and see Lieutenant Whitaker, Sarah. And she said she had another requisition form, but this time she's going with me. And that's basically where I left off. Come on, soldier. See if you can keep up with me. Yeah, right. When's the last time you went on a run? I mean, you know, out in the shed. Hey. I've done supply runs like anyone else. I gotta admit, it's been a while. Do you even have a bike? Yeah, but uh, I think I'm gonna ride with you on this run. No chance of us getting separated that way. Yes, ma'am. Stop with... Hey, you, uh, you been inside the Ark yet? Uh, the cave's here, yeah. I got the grand tour when I arrived. From the colonel himself. Come on, even you gotta give the man some credit. For the vision, stockpiling, preparing, saving what we can. Yeah, well, I'll give him this. This island is a goddamn fortress. Nothing's gonna get in here without a hell of a fight. Exactly. Here, the man's the Negan of this world. The Negan of the governor. Nice place. It's got that woman's touch. Oh, right. I'm hardly ever here, and most nights I usually spend it on a cot in the lab. Look at this. This will get the job done. It was a gift from Matt when I first joined up. Matt? The Colonel. Oh, Jesus, come on, Deacon. It's just a gun. The man's a psycho. Like <laughs> anyone with common sense can see that. Come on. Let's go this way. I want to show you something. Following you. When I got here, the militia had cut down almost every tree on the island. I asked Matt, the colonel, to save the last one. Oh yeah, well, why did you uh, do that? Do you remember the weekend we rode up here? To Crater Lake, I mean, after we got married. Uh, yeah, I, I, I remember. I remember thinking, God, when Mount Mazama blew up, how long did it take? The lava to cool and the soil to form, all these trees to grow. When all this is over, when we leave this fucking island, I want there to be at least one tree left. Uh, listen, these guys don't give a shit about any of that. I've, I've been through their dead zone. Look, the colonel's focused on winning the war. The sooner I do my part, the sooner... I wouldn't count on it. He looks like a guy who would just probably carry on burning everything. What's wrong? No, nothing. It's just... <laughs> Never mind. Hold on, uh... Hold on tight. There's a community college yeah, east of yeah. here. Uh, off the highway. Let's take the you south the bridge. It'll be faster. Yeah. I'm with you. Hey, so I gotta ask, uh, all this stuff, the, the yeast, the silicon... Why do I need it? The weapon I'm working on is a beer side. If I can isolate the virus that causes the cells to mutate, I can kill it. Okay. Uh, this is such a slow ride. Can I ask you something? After that night in farewell, what happened? I mean, how did you get out? Well, we almost did it. After the feds pulled out, anyone still alive started putting up roadblocks of their own, and they started shooting people on sight. We somehow made it to that refugee camp where we were 
we thought that you were going to be waiting, but like I said, it was gone. So we tried a few others, same story, no survivors, everything overrun. So within a week, the whole damn valley was a war zone. People were killing each other over scraps of food, sometimes killing each other for no reason at all. If Boozer and I hadn't stuck together, I don't think we would have made it. Wait, Boozer? He's alive? Where is he? What happened to him? Yes, he's alive, but he's he's at a camp up north. He can't ride anymore because because he lost his arm. But uh, but he is alive. I'm so glad he's alive. I, I'm really sorry. I, I should have asked you about him sooner. Don't worry about it. Okay, uh, my time. But um, that night in farewell, my mongrels ring. Do you still have it? Deacon, I'm sorry. It's the Colonel's policy. They, they confiscate all jewelry when you come into the camp. They melt down the gold and silver to use in Weaver's project or whatever the hell. I forgot all about it. I'm, I'm really sorry. Uh, no, don't worry about it. I don't know. I was just thinking out loud. It doesn't matter. I think this is it. <laughs> You've been here before? Once. Once. Before, before, you know. Career, career day. day. They, they invited me to give a presentation, presentation on exciting on careers in biochemistry. biochemistry. <laughs> what? Nothing, Nothing. just... Looking back, Looking back, it should have been a talk, talk on, how on how to survive the end of the world. Come on. How are we gonna get through this? Should we find a way around? No, uh, hold on. I can boost you up there. An officer and a gentleman. Right, let me get you up there. You ready? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you got it? <laughs> Got it. Here, watch your head. Got it. Who keeps leaving these boxes in convenient places? <laughs> that Jesus unsung God, hero. This is one of the earliest survivor camps, set up before they figured out that hordes like to run along the main highways. It was dead long before I got here. This entire place is going to be crawling. Yeah. Do you know where we're going? Like I said, I've only been here once, but I think the science building is back there. I should have stocked up on ammo. In hindsight. Wait, 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 wait a second. What's wrong? Well, I mean, I don't want to bring the whole place down in this. We don't even know what's in there. Well, we know what's in there, but you goddamn news. Now, come on, let's just go around. Whoever was living here jammed the place up pretty good. <laughs> I assume it's to that door. How about through here? The door's locked, but it's... Uh, I think I can get this. Uh, there. That did it. Through here. Looks clear. Coming. Here. Uh, help me move this. Hold on. Okay. Ready? Push! And I push, she pulled. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Oh shit! Back, 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 back. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Alright, well, we need to find another way. 
No, wait a second, wait a second. We can do this. Well, they, we can do they, this. They bound to have seen me. If we both go out there, we're just gonna pull them down on top of each other, so... Wait a second, what if... We come up on top of here. You lay down cover and fire. <laughs> you take out the strikers, I'll take out the rest. Are you sure about this? Yeah, 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 I do this all the time. Just keep up a steady stream of fire, all right? Deacon. Once I'm through, just close this up. All right. Down. It's clear. That went okay? pretty well, I think. Jesus, it was a little too close. No. I'm gonna bring in more. Where now? Uh, I don't know. Uh, they got the place barricaded up pretty good. Uh, see if there's a hole in any of these walls. Place where we can climb up. All right, I'll look over here. No idea where I'm supposed to be going in now. Anything? Oh wait, this looks promising. No. Hey, over here, there's an open window. Yeah. Coming. That's right. I knew it. You got it. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Hold on, let me find something. Ah, uh, Sarah. Hold on. Something I can throw down. Oh shit! Deacon! Oh shit, shit, shit! God damn it! Uh, just find something for me to climb on! I'm on it! Oh, for God's sakes. You finally got your way. <laughs> well, better late than never. Oh, okay. Thanks. <sighs> Ready? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Alright. Here, let me go first this time. Yes, ma'am. Whatever you say. It's like a bomb went off in here. Maybe one did. Come on. I think we can get through here. The door's jammed. Here. No, no, I got this. I got it. See? I told you. See? Like I said, I got this. Good job. Thanks. He just shit himself. Badly, do you need this piece of equipment? All right, we're almost there. Look, we're not giving up now. Just ask. Wow. Now we know how the freaks were getting in. Someone needed to learn how to park. It looks clear. Shit. More barricades, and they're everywhere. Huh. Uh, check the buildings. I can see the science building. It's over there. Just gotta get through these barriers. How come the only building we need to get to is the one that they decided to barricade? Every other building? It's hey, got cars going through the walls. Open, window. open windows. The one we went to? It's like an armored... F it's like a fortress all around it. Uh, 
I assume I just moved that over, but nope. Here, let me boost you up again. Uh, only this time. You... Don't take so long finding something for you to climb. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Got it. Okay, hold on. Hey, and try not to attract any more swarmers this time, all right? Sure. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Oh. Uh. Yep, and now I push this over. Sarah, hold on! I saw that coming. Come on! Damn it! No! No, no, no! Oh, sir. God damn it, Sarah! Sarah! There are no bodies Sarah! anymore. No! Damn it! No! Sarah! Oh, never mind. Where are you? Come on, answer me! I don't know if these are fresh what though. To you? Sarah! 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 There are so many of them. I just kept coming. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. Come on. I'm fine. Come on, we're almost there. This is the science building. Yeah, it looks like this place has been shut up tight from the inside. Come on, there's got to be a way in. Yeah, but if you were bar like, that's not surprising, I would have thought. Are you sure you're okay? If you were barricading yeah. it, you wouldn't be doing it from the outside. I've killed freaks before. Unless it was full of freaks. Deacon, I'm fine. Let's go. Let's check this door. Can you open it? No, it's jammed from the inside. Let's go around the building. There has to be a way in. I'm telling you, someone sealed it tight from the inside. Well, we gotta check, right? It's not gonna open. I just love that. It's like, oh, they sealed it up from the inside. It's like, what do they teach you in the army? If you're gonna defend something, like, you, you don't defend a castle from the outside, do you? Or do you? All that I've seen. Otherwise, the Battle of Helm's Deep would have gone very differently. <coughs> oh, God damn it! Hey, hey, it's okay. It's sure jammed like all the rest. Another way. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, sir. Hold on, hold on for a second. Those are. Those are newts. They're inside. Those are newts in there, which means. There's gotta be a way from the roof. Come on. There better be liquid gold in this building for the trouble I'm going to getting in it. Come on, the roof's lower over here. Yep, we just have to find a way up. Ah, I have to push the car or something, don't I? There you go. Big Sir, surprise. Uh, help me push this. We can use it to climb up. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay, push! <laughs> <laughs> Far enough? Yeah, yeah, hold up. You got it? Yeah. Okay, be ready. Newts can get pretty nasty when you trespass on the territory. I just really wish we didn't have to kill the little shits. What? What do you mean? Remind me of that little girl. I didn't 
There we go. That was close. That's the last of them. You enjoyed that? Uh, killing newts? No, but... I mean, you gotta admit, they're pretty goddamn annoying. You're right about that. Here, give me your hand. Okay. You could have jumped down there by yourself. Careful. Steady. I got this. Well, you try living with them. See how you smell after two years. No thanks. Where, where, where are we going? Try these doors. Uh, one of these is going to be a lab or a lecture room. Centrifuge has to be here somewhere. I'll just walk very slowly. Okay. Oh wait, I'm gonna go back and read that. That looked kind of interesting. Like they also signed their names before they died. No, what are you doing? Don't shoot. Just let the freaks take him out. And there she is, like Rambo, gunning them all down. Quietly. All it took was two attractors and a few bullets. Yes. Could make something out of this. Decon. 
Jake, stay down. Yeah, got it. I'm on board, dudes. How you doing on ammo? Kicking ass. Need this more than you. Jesus, that was a really big gun. <sighs> yeah. So there's more of them, a lot more. We're gonna have to clear them out before we can get to the bike. You got any more of those smoke grenades? Yeah. Up here, you can see the entire park. I watch where I'm going, and then you throw the grenades ahead of me. You got it? Got it. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. So I'm just gonna shoot my way through these guys. Yeah. Now I got you. Hold on. You got him. He's just running around. What's this guy doing? Went up really quickly. What's with all these Molotovs all of a sudden? Can't be many more left. I think that's the last of them. Oh ye. Okay, hold on. I'm coming to you. I do like this gun. This is one of my favorite guns. Makes up for losing the M60. You all right? Am I all right? What's wrong with you? Oh, I don't 
know. It's just that I remember the day that I met you, you fired my gun in the air to scare up those rednecks, and you're so scared you couldn't stop shaking. Yeah, well, a lot's changed since then. Yeah. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. What, uh, happened to you, sir? What's that supposed to mean? Hey, look, I get it. A lot's changed. Everyone we knew is gone, but it doesn't explain. Explain what, Deacon? Why everyone in the good old boys club calls me the Wizard Island Witch? Look, I don't give a shit about any of that, I... Nothing's happened to me that hasn't happened to every other fucking person on this planet. Yeah. Okay. If you say so. Come on, over here. After you. Oh my god, I think I'm just gonna possibly jump back to Wizard Island. Like, I don't think I, I'm gonna drive back there. If this loading screen's anything to go by. Hey! Can I say thank you? No. Okay. You know, I just wanted to let you know. How much I needed this. You're welcome. Yeah, couldn't stop shaking. Wizard Island, still level one. I'm uh, never giving up. Throw him into the furnace. Okay, that's nice. Corporal St. John. Hey, Sarge. Corporal St. John. Didn't even have to go all the way. My oh, and shit. In arms. I stand here before you in celebration. The end is nigh. Captain Curry has been working non-stop, assembling and training our army. Lieutenant Whitaker has been working tirelessly on a biological weapon that will allow us to kill hundreds of freaks at once. Lieutenant Weaver is working on a chemical weapon that will allow us to burn down entire hordes. Soon, slash and burn will be a thing of the past. We will go from fighting a defensive war to an offensive war. As we take the fight to the freaks, as we work to retake our world. And behold, he said, the enemy who sowed them is the devil, and the harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are angels, and they will gather out of his kingdom all evil and throw them into the furnace of fire. In that place, there will be weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. We, the Deschutes County Militia, are those avenging angels, and we are coming. Company dismissed. Ooh, yeah, he's he's a nut job. Full-blown crazy person.
Okay, let's go and see what the doc wants. Doc Jimenez. Jimenez. Jimenez? Jimenez? I don't know. Taylor, what's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Don't like, something's gonna happen to the doc in the middle of all this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some uh, some saddle sores or something? Need a doc to lube you all up? How's the ear? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. <sighs> okay. Oh, hey. Uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the doc. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. All right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Mr. Rasbien, you'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. <laughs> you know, me parece... It's, I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right, well, let's go. Corporal. Doc. Going someplace? Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go oh, in no, Copa No, no, I don't think so. Cor Coronel? No entiendo. I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. If anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. You Dismissed, Corporal. <laughs> Matt, I've been out in the shit before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I... I don't know what I'd do if I... I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. Oh, they're together. I think. I assume. But maybe I assume too much. How do you survive? Oh, on disorder. A good soldier. What kept me going? All right, run down here again. He's just just zigzagging across camp. I'm already doing anything else other than zigzagging. Okay, so this. Is well, I got most of these, haven't I? Yeah. That's weird. I'll grab that one. Red and one more. I like, it's weird that I've more got most of those foot range which we, Okay, that makes more sense. Don't have that no. I can melee, sorry, not ranged. Uh survival. Alright, yeah. Generate less noise and moving and dropping. I'll have that one. Should unlock another one. I need one more. Yeah, I don't think I bothered much with the survival yet. I'll improve that. I'll work on improving it over the next few points I get. Well, that's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't, unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. No, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath where I could check out. you can't get what I need there, you... God, do you think I would learn? I actually think I know where you can get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab, Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just... I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? Oh, well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Dress warm. Pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh, my God. If you say thank you one more time, I... Let 
me know when you're ready to go. Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel? Captain? Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good. With Deke Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in a ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment right now. I'd like to see what's going on. Yeah, I'm sure you'd like to see Weaver's equipment. Yes, sirs, and no sirs, and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless, you know, considering. Hey, you were in the army once. You should know. That was different. How? Oh, there were more people in the world. I don't know. I mean, having a military made more sense. I think it makes more sense now. Why? It's utter fucking chaos out here. We need the order and discipline, or we're not going to make it. You know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks seeming pointless, I mean? Oh, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. I mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for the beards and bikes. Now that you mention it, I, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I didn't think... Oh, no! Sarah died. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll stick to the roads next time, I guess. Sarah died. She took on like, a room full of walkers, but she can't... Well, walkers. I'm literally thinking this is The Walking Dead. Took a, took on a room full of freaks, but she can't f survive falling off a bike. Or perhaps she just can't survive having Deacon fall on her when they fell off the bike. Who knows? Heading to Diamond Lake. There's an old forest service road that winds around the western base of Mount Tielson. Okay. What is that all about, anyway? What? All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless, you know, considering. Hey, you were in the army once. You should know. That was different. How? Well, there were more people in the world. I don't know. I mean, having a military made more sense. I think it makes more sense now. Why? It's utter fucking chaos out here. We oh, need shit. the order and discipline or we're not going to make it. You know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks sitting pointless, I mean? Oh, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. And when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for the beards and bikes. Now that you mention it, I, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I didn't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? We're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniforms. You know, there is that. Where are we heading? Diamond Lake. There's an old forest service road that winds around the western base of Mount Tielson. Okay. Was that here when you came over the pass? Sure, he's already said yeah, that. But the soldiers stationed there. Hey! Hey! Shut it off! 
You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from... To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way! Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. Jesus. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Well, that sounds serious! What do you mean? Well, he said he's gonna report you. I mean, how's Matt gonna take that? The Colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Oh my god! What's wrong? Nothing, it's just... I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. Uh, pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day. Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Um, I, I don't know. Just, uh, too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then, I, I don't know. Loser's arm got fucked up, and I had to, I, I mean, I wasn't gonna let him die, you know, so watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all, I guess I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna let him down, so I, I didn't wanna go out that way, and then I found out that, that you were still alive and that to kill myself. <laughs> yeah, right. No, seriously. But, uh, then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring. And that's, that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. You know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. Are you trying to convince me or you? Where are we going? We must be getting close, right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tielsen Tunnel. Okay. Look at this, this looks... Well, like a pile of snow to me. With a couple of wrecked cars. I can't quite tell what direction is what. That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? Rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And, um, <laughs> you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't gonna run into them. You can help me move us or what? Yeah, sure. Back on the bike. Get on, lady. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a Nero checkpoint for about a mile when everything got overrun. Sounds horrible. I seem worse, but yeah. Hey, this looks familiar. Yeah, yeah, it's right up here. I thought I'd 
I'd see this place again. Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear-powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Yeah, I'll show you. Like you said, power's still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Guys are a little more high tech than I remember. It's not really that impressive. Aerie's not intelligent. She's like a souped up smartphone app. Aerie? Artificial intelligence response interface. Wait a minute, 751 days ago. There's been 814 days oh my since God. the outbreak. What is it? Nothing. It's. What the hell? Look at this. There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be. It, it's the irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self-sustaining. Oh, wow, well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food, it's got water, it's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said, the power's still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on! Again, 814 days gone since the outbreak. 751 days ago, she was here last. So she was still coming here well into the outbreak. Like 60 days or something into the outbreak. She was still coming to work. They're infected. Infected. It's what's made them so hyper aggressive. It makes them a pain in my ass. I think we should be okay as long as we're quiet. Okay. Come on. Sarah, these, uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew them. Let's go, come on. Okay, I'm gonna call, call it a day, I think. Um, because I'm coming up to the end of it, uh, well, coming up to the time limit. Thank you all for watching, uh, it means a lot. Please remember to like, leave a like, leave a comment, and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time, have a good day.